Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This is going from October 27th through November 2nd, 2019. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. So I've taken the liberty of pulling the cards. We have uh, love and romance, career and finance. So let's go ahead and jump into this, all right? So at the bottom of the deck for love and romance, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So it says perfect timing or divine timing, um, a cycle, completion, uh, maybe the culmination of or an ending here. This could be with some masculine energy or for my masculine Geminis. Um, check to see what planet is in your 10th house. This is Jupiter. It's seen that luck is on your side. But you don't control how things play out. You may feel as if you're, you're in an unlucky situation in love. But it's saying that you don't control it. So, of course, you wouldn't understand the, uh, the events occurring until you are, you know, far removed, right? So, let's see what this is about. Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So in some relationship, marriage, some business contract, how maybe you are coming about or how you are coming off to other people is <clears throat> there's an air of deception or you just doing something very sneaky. There might be drama within a dynamic. There might be even a love affair here. There's someone who's over the commitment, over the the union. So now they're out to to win at all costs to get whatever it is they can get. Maybe even monetarily with the Ten of Pentacles here. Uh, maybe from the family, money. You may be doing something behind someone's back in regards to uh, money, like storing away money, taking away money, uh, not letting the other, your, your better half know how much money is in an account or how much money you're making or something. You're like dividing yourself now. It's like you, you can see past the fog here. Either you or someone you're dealing with. You could just feel like someone is being sneaky in regards to um, the relationship. There's a marriage here. There's some long-standing commitment. There could be the element of some masculine energy uh, being very sneaky, being deceptive here. Um... There's someone aware of what's going on within the union, within the commitment, within the commitment, but they may be, they may be taking their sweet time to leave the commitment because they're trying to get what all that they can get out of it. Some of you that you have like someone stealing from you, you're doing something behind closed doors, you get taking money behind closed doors or or from the family dynamic or taking money and giving it to your family or trying to have someone or some yes yeah, someone provide for your entire extended family not your immediate family let's see what the advice here okay we got success okay I don't know how that's very fitting maybe this person is successfully doing whatever it is they're doing behind closed doors what's the advice here let's see what the shells have to say marriage definitely um, great body 
So marriage and great body. There may be someone who's with someone because they have a very nice body. But you feel as if they're sneaky, they're lying, they're deceptive. They're out for to get whatever they can get out of this union. Um, there may even be an element of drama here. There's definitely money. Um, you feel like someone is sneaky. What they do every day. On a day-to-day -day basis. Their routine is sneaky. There's something that they're doing. Their work ethic is poor. If any. For some of you. Um, you're just very much questioning. The success of the marriage. Hmm. Maybe even questioning why you got married. Try, someone's trying to regain control or, or maintain the upper hand by way of uh, doing this deceptive thing or this making plans behind closed doors. Your plans need to be revised. There's definitely more to this situation that meets the eye. There's someone doing something actively every day, maybe, behind closed doors. What's the advice for Gemini for love and romance? This could have something to do with a new love, a new marriage. There could be someone going after someone else because they have a great body. There, or someone married someone because they have a great body, but now they figure, or someone has a great body, but and they're just all over the place within the marriage. They know that they, they get a lot of suitors, that they're very attractive, outgoing, charismatic. Uh, they're doing something deceptive here. The advice is that you know that this could be new though. This is we got marriage card. This talks about new love, new marriage. So, so someone could be married to someone new. Yeah, this. Okay, so the whole deck just flew out of my hand. The only two cards that are left in my hand are these two cards. So we we have six of diamond, jack of diamond. So we have once again in the playing cards deck, the jack of diamond talks about a dishonest, um, untrustworthy, uh, unreliable person a liar a cheat a thief could be uh six of diamond talks about the inequality in a situation in a marriage in a second sometimes it talks about second marriage but it could be a first marriage um inequality and problems in a marriage due to money so let me pick up the the other cards um this is that was very weird. We all flew out. I can't even find the other cards. Okay. Let's go on. And I think someone's going to find this out. Maybe that someone is still giving to another party. Or someone is has another party. Or has another person here. That they could be taking money to. Energy, effort, time, sex, love. All of that. Someone's going to find out. Okay. Um... Let's see what career and finance holds for us. Okay, career and finance. At the bottom of the deck, you have the page of wands. So there could be some really good news coming in to you about career and finance. Some news that you're going to have to take action on. So the good news is, you know, this has happened or they want you here, but you have to do, you know, this is a conditional statement sometimes with, with um, the page of wands. So it's the message of good news, good tidings. That's very good to have in the overall energy. So let's see what this is about. Six of Swords, nice. The Emperor. So some of you could have started something new, a business, self-employment, um, a new job. You you help people, you help mothers, or you help you're finding that you're helping a lot of women. Hmm. You're finding that you're easy. You're helping people move into another area of their life or actually physically move. Um, you're helping people make peace with a turbulent time for them. 
Uh, it could be something in regards to finances. You travel to about for your job. Something that you do. You started this thing from the ground up. And, it, and you're doing a lot of work. And it says that better times are ahead. You may need to even take a vacation. Better times are ahead. And good news is coming in to you. This is really good. You help ease the burden. I don't know what this is about. Let's see what the cards. Sentimental feelings. Maybe like you help people with turbulence in their life. You help them make peace with it. They may have sentimental feelings in regards to whatever it is you do with them or you help, however you help them. Self-employment. So this is what I'm saying. You built this from the ground up with the empress and self-employment being highlighted here. Some of you are self-employed. It's an element of helping someone or helping to move to the next situation or helping them to recreate or cre yeah, recreate here let's see what this is about career definitely this is your career run leave some of you help people leave or run from or I don't know wow mental issues maybe you help people with mental issues thoughts you help people with their thoughts um, you have really good thoughts on Maybe how to strategize with people in, in whatever issues that they're having or they have in their, um, in, in for whatever they're coming to you for. Because you help them move. You help them. We have sobriety, excuse me, sobriety at the bottom of it. So some of you help people to think soberly, to act sober. Or to make sober decisions. Um, you help them to process their feelings. You may be really good with being very um, assertive, fair, just, and clear. What's the advice here for Gemini for career and finance? This is really, really good. Yeah, it's something about you help people balance out their emotions. This is what you love to do. There's a spiritual component element here. You help people to what, what they were already thinking. If they if there was mental issues, mental issues aren't always permanent. Mental issues can arise when there's situation, and now you have a mental block, mental issues, a, a, a complete meltdown. But that could be temporary because you can go through the process of rebuilding, you know. So maybe you help people with mental issues, their thoughts. You help them to rebuild, to reestablish, recreate, okay. And it, cause some of you could be helping people with permanent mental issues, something that they were born with. Um, sobriety. It's like you help some people remain sober. This is really, really good. One more card. Yeah, you help people make decisions. People are hesitating before making decisions. Something in regards to home, family. You help to you analyze the data here. And you help put things together. And you help them see that. You help them make healthy decisions that fit in their life. There's a sense of usefulness with you. Because some people, in whatever you do, they have mental blockage or mental blocks. And you, it's like you just come in and you just really take over and help them move forward. Even to recreate here. Um, they, they, yeah. You help them with heavy situations. Could even be in regards to family and something that they thought they would be in long term. The Ten of Hearts here. But you help them move forward. You help them to leave, run, leave. All right, so Gemini, very interesting week. The advice here is to know that there's someone deceptive in your in your environment. It could be you, it could be someone else. Self-employment is looking very good. Some of you travel for work. 
some of you you do something artistically you sing dance you bring people joy you help them to get over this is your career and then some of you you help people in the facet of maybe some psychiatric work okay Gemini get a personal reading all links are below take advantage of the 72 hour reading the $15 to question via email reading um, also the 20 minute phone reading is on sale take advantage of that thank you Gemini take care guys